him. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve, hallelujah. And we are thanking God this evening for our spirit life. We are thanking him this evening for waking us up this morning. Hallelujah. He is worthy of all the glory, the honor, and the praise. There is none like him, and none can compare unto him. Bless his holy name. I thank him for my spirit life. I thank him that he protects me throughout the day. Now is um, 7.35, and from this morning, I am still alive and I am well and it's not anything good that I have done, but because of his love for me and his grace towards me, hallelujah, he grants me that favor this evening. Bless the name of the Lord. Greetings, greetings one and all. I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of all kings, the one who is coming back and he's coming back for a prepared people. Hallelujah. And as we embark on this journey, I pray, oh God, that souls will be saved. Souls will be born for the kingdom of God. Greetings to you, saints. We invite the holy presence of God in our home. We invite him to come and have supper with us right now and to sit at the table with us. Hallelujah. And I pray this evening that he will find us worthy because he is worthy, the lamb that was slain, hallelujah, from the cruel cross. And so this evening that we can have life and we can have it more abundantly. Greetings to my pastor, Pastor um, Bishop Palmer, Pastor Mark, Pastor Watson, and Pastor Elliot and Pastor Jones, all evangelists, evangelist Marshall and evangelist Joe Hill and our deacon, Deacon Hartman, Deacon Gilfillian, and all our missionaries, the saints of God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Indeed, we are here, hallelujah, to lift up the name of Jesus, to tell of the good news, to sing of his goodness, hallelujah. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ born and he was crucified. Hallelujah. He left the splendor of heaven knowing his destiny. It's a lonely hill of Golgotha. Hallelujah. We, he laid down his life for you and for me. Bless the name of the Lord. And so we thank him this evening and he is awesome. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. And at this time, uh, we will be going into our service. Bless the name of the Lord. And I also greet um, our visitors, our um, home um, church brethren, and also those um, who are visiting with us, uh, whether you are a child of God or not, we greet you. And we pray that this evening, we will have an awesome time in giving God praise, hallelujah, and that you will receive a blessing, a blessing in abundance, eternal life, hallelujah, where you can come and you can call upon the Savior, hallelujah, because he's the only one that can deliver us today in this last and closing days, hallelujah. He is risen. Praise God, he is risen. Glory to the name of the Lord. And so to commence this evening, um, We'll be calling and Sister Achilia, and she will be doing some praise and worship song. Hallelujah. As we proceed in service um, this evening, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise bless the name of the name. Lord. We worship the name of Jesus. We exalt the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus, the name that's above every name. The name as we call on it, demons tremble. Every knee shall bow at the end of the day because of that name. Hallelujah. So tonight we just want to worship the Lord. And we just want to, you know, exalt him and, you know, big him up and love him up tonight. I'm just going to sing two songs to open the service. And I pray that everyone would just join in with me in your home and just worship the Lord. 
the the scripture said wherever two or three are gathered together and even though we're not in the same building we still come together for one purpose and that is because of jesus praise the name of the lord there is no as holy as the Lord. There is none beside thee. Neither is there any like our God. Rule For there is none as holy as the Lord, and there is none beside thee, neither. the name of Yahweh praise the name of Jesus the song says neither is there any rock like our God he is the ruler over heaven and the earth we praise the name of Jesus we exalt the name of Jesus we lift up the name of Jesus praise the name of the Lord praise the name of the Lord I'll just sing this chorus and I'll hand over back to the moderator in the rock, I hide myself in the shadow. I will abide when the storms of death are raging over me. In the rock, I Yes, in the rock, I hide 
find myself in God's shadow. I will abide when the stars are they are raging over me in the rock. Ah, oh, in the rock. I hide myself in the shadow. I will abide when the storms are. They are raging over me in the rock. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh-huh. oh, in the rock, in the rock. Ah, uh-huh. my self in the shadow. I will abide when the storms are. They are raging over me in the rock, yes, in the rock. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, in the rock, in the rock. I hide myself in the shadow. I will abide. Storms they are raging over me in the rockets in the rock. Oh, in the rock, in the rock. I hide myself in the shadows. I will abide when the storms are. They are in the rock, in the rock. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, in the rock, in the rock. I uh-huh. myself in the shadow. I will abide when the storms are they are raging over me in the rock. Uh-huh. When the storms are they are raging over me in the rock. In the rock. Uh-huh. When the storms are in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When the storms of life Hallelujah. Have you been going through some storms of life? When the storms of life are raging over me, glory be to God. Hallelujah. In the rock, hallelujah, I hide. Bless the name of the Lord. We can stand ashore this evening and we can declare, bless the name of the, of the Lord, that in the rock, the rock that is higher than I, the rock that is stronger than I, the rock that is more powerful than you and I this evening, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we can encourage someone who are going through the storms of life, bless the name of the Lord and say there's a rock, hallelujah, not like any other rock that is out there that you use, hallelujah, to put up a building, but the, the, the firm, foundation hallelujah the word of god in the rock i hide hallelujah when the storms of life glory be to god we can run to the rock hallelujah so we give him thanks and praise this evening because he is the rock our salvation 
Hallelujah. And he is a ruler over heaven and the earth. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. And so we can rest assured, hallelujah, that we can be safe in the arms of this solid rock that we stand on. And at this moment, hallelujah, to open up in prayer, I know call and Sister Mackenzie to do so in Jesus' name. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify the name of Jesus. We exalt the name of Jesus. We magnify his name. Lord, he's ready to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Praise God. At this moment, I want to praise God, giving honor to God. I greet our bishop, all our pastors, all officers, members, leaders, greeting our moderator, Sister Clark, and our speaker, Pastor Rowe, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. Praise God. The Lamb of God who take it away the sins of this world. Hallelujah. Lord, you are worthy, Lord, to receive glory and honor and praise and thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Lord, you are worthy. So, Lord, we lift up your name. We glorify. We just magnify your name, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. You are the one who died upon Calvary's cross. You deserve all the glory and the praise and the honor. Lord, as we come tonight on this platform, oh, God, we have to remember you, Lord, your love for us, Lord. Greater love and no man than this, and a man laid down his life for his friends. We thank you, Lord, that you laid down your life for us. Lord, you went to the cross, mighty God, and you were obedient, Lord, even to death. Lord, you deserve all the glory and the honor and the praise. Thank you, Lord, for your death. Oh, God, thank you, Lord, that you are no longer in the grave. Thank you, Lord, for your father, God. He said you were raised, hallelujah, from the dead by the spirit of your father, mighty God. Thank you, Lord, for the resurrection power, Lord power of the resurrection. Yes, power, hallelujah, in your resurrection. Thank you, Jesus, that in this life only, if we have hope, we'll be so miserable tonight, Lord. We thank you for the hope that you have given us, Lord, that after this life, Praise God, your life that will never end, life of joy and peace and happiness. Lord God, we thank you for the topic tonight. Mighty God, the power of the resurrection, Lord. Yes, power in the blood. Yes, power in the resurrection. Hallelujah. Lord, because your resurrection be life. Everything that was dead tonight can come to life. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Many have died and gone, Lord. Many, we are in the grave, Lord. They cannot give us resurrection, but our life, our hope, everything is in you tonight. Father God, take control tonight of this service. Lord, we can do nothing, mighty God, without you. We ask, Lord, for your leading and direction. Father God, take control of the moderator, Sister Clara. Lord, give her another portion of anointing tonight, Lord, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Lord, rest upon her tonight, Jesus. Father God, I pray, God, as the speaker, come forward, oh God. Pastor Roe, your servant, hallelujah. You have ordained and anointed, Lord, for your purpose, hallelujah. Lord, I pray, God, that you'll wrap him in your anointing, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, from the crown of his head, hallelujah, to the sole of his feet. Father God, I pray, God, that your grace and your power upon him, Lord, double grace, overflowing grace, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Great grace upon your servant tonight, Lord. Empower him, Lord, to bring the message, Lord, not his word, but your words, Lord. Jesus, we want to hear from you tonight, Lord. I pray, God, that as the words go forward with power and with might, oh God, that everything that is dead will come to life, Lord. Even those who are dead in sin and trespasses, hallelujah. The word of God will go forth quick and powerful like a sharp edged sword. Lord, have your way tonight, Lord Jesus. Bless his service, Lord, from beginning to end. Lord, let your anointing flow. Let your power be faith, Lord, your resurrection power that can raise the dead tonight, Lord. Heavenly Father, take control, Lord. We are depending on you tonight. Go before us, Lord, and you work yourself tonight. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for a wonderful service. Lord, we give ear ways to you that you take your Control tonight, Jesus. Light to God, put your blood all over. Hallelujah, every father, that everything we go through, Lord, undisturbed by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Another. Give the angels charge. Have your way tonight, Lord. We thank you for what you have done before, what you are doing, and what you are about to do tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We tell you thanks again in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Lord. Mackenzie. Yes, Hallelujah, the able way you intercede on our behalf and this service um, this evening. Yes, praise God. And we will continue to say, In the rock I hide, and in the shadow we will mm -hmm. abide when the storms of life mm -hmm. are raging over us. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. in the rock we will hide. Glory be to God. Just remember that 
when you are going through the storms of life, hallelujah, we have a rock that we can lean on. Bless the name of the Lord. And this evening, our scripture reading will be coming to us from, from um, Philippians 3 and verse 1 to 10 and 1 Corinthians 15, um, 17 to 23. And I read, bless the name of, of the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the, con the conscience and conscience. Praise God, forgive me. For we are the circumcision, which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any man thinketh that he had whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the, the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew, of the Hebrews as touching the law of Pharisees, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted last for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but last for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the last of all things, and do count them but down that I may win Christ and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made comfortable unto his death. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. <clears throat> In 1 Corinthians 15, 17 to 23. And Christ, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain. He are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all, uh, we are of all men most miserable. But now in Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, and by man came also the resurrection of death. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, afterward they that are in Christ at his coming. Bless the name of the Lord. He ended the reading of God's holy words. And may he add his richest blessings as we read them from time to time. And his name be praised. Glory be to God. I don't know if this is a scripture. Bless God that the um that the the, the preacher will be using this evening. Hallelujah. So um, I will not be able to comment on it right now. And at this time, we will be going um, into um, our testimony service. And um, Sister Basha will do so. And after that short testimony service, she will also um, introduce the speaker um, to us this evening. And after that, I will continue to let you know what else is coming after. So she's going to do a couple songs. Bless the name of the Lord. And for those who will testify, will testify in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Give your testimony of God's goodness, his grace, and his love towards us at this moment. Praise God. The Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And yes. all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to sing one song. We are going to do testimony for about seven minutes. And we're asking for three or four testimony within that period. Hallelujah. I don't want to leave behind when my Lord shall come again. I want to live a life pure and holy. I don't want to live behind oh no no i don't want to 
leave behind when my Lord shall come again. I want to live a life pure and holy. I don't want to live behind church. I don't want to leave behind when my Lord shall come again. I want to live a life pure and holy. I don't want to live behind. Bless the name of Jesus testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is any testimony? Hallelujah. I don't want to leave behind when my Lord shall come again. I want to live a life pure and holy. I don't want to live behind hallelujah does anyone want to thank share anything? hallelujah hallelujah i want to give thanks to god for my spared life he has been keeping me he has been protecting me and my family and i want to continue to worship him i want to give him thanks that i'm on the land of the living today Amen. and you pray for me as i continue to do the same for you in jesus Bless Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Praise Bless the Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm so grateful today that our God is holy and worthy to be praised, worthy to be exalted, worthy to be lifted up. And as you sing that song, I don't want to be left behind. I want when he should put in his appearance, I will be in the number. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Bless Praise the Lord. The Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Tonight I'm thanking God for his love and his mercies towards me. And as the song sings, I don't want to be left behind. I'm asking the Lord to help me to live a life that is only before him in Jesus' name. I want to sing one more song and then we have two more testimony. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I need a cleansing from the fountain. My soul is hungry. My soul is hungry. I've had a aching within. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I need a cleansing from the fountain. My soul is hungry. My soul is hungry. Have a aching within. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I need a cleansing from the fountain. My soul is hungry. My soul is hungry. Have an aching within. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I need a cleansing from the fountain. My soul is hungry. My soul is hungry. Have a aching within. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to be washed 
in the blood of the Lamb. I need a cleansing from the fountain. My soul is hungry. My soul is hungry. Have a aching within. I want to be washed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can I have two more testimonies to close, please? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Bless the Lord. Pleasant good night and glory to God to, to the saints of the Most High God. Greetings in the mighty, mighty and awesome name of Jesus. Tonight indeed, it is a blessing. It is a privilege to be able to be alive and to be well. Yes, uh, we are commuting from a funeral. And, uh, you know, we were in a position where we were uh, trying to provide comfort to those who are mourning, trying to put some things in perspective. Uh, but we recognize how blessed we are to still be on the land of the living where we can still participate in the kingdom building process uh, and just to do the best we can to uh, you know, to, 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 to serve God in the beauty of holiness and to fulfill our purpose. And so indeed, I'm blessed um, as we're reflecting tonight or over the course of the, uh, the, the, the program on the, blood, on the power of his resurrection. I am so blessed to know that I am saved and washed by the blood of the Lamb. And to that end, I have a hope of eternal life. So while we were able to comfort those who are mourning, but we still were able to let them know that there is hope in King Jesus. So continue to, you'll be strengthened in the inner man, continue to serve the Lord in the beauty of holiness, and let us continue to pray one for each other as we travel this Christian path. God bless you tonight and you'll be well. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And unto this evening, hallelujah, we give God the glory and the honor again. And as the moderator said, I should introduce a speaker. I'll just do so and hand back over to her. Now it's a pleasure and it's a delight to introduce the psalm and to present the psalm. Pastor Desmond Rowe that I worked with in Jamaica at the Yorktown Church of God, seventh day. Bless the name of Jesus. He's a man of integrity, a man of his word. Hallelujah. If he says something to you, he's going to fulfill it. Hallelujah. When we have crusade in Swansea at our Beulah Church there, whenever we're calling, he's always on board. Bless the name of Jesus. He and his amen, name. Amen. Hallelujah. In Yorktown Clarendon. And to God be the glory. And it's been a pleasure and a delight to introduce him to the Beulah family here in Brooklyn. Hallelujah. And as I present him and I introduce him to others, God bless you. I hand over back to the moderator in Jesus' name. Love the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This evening, our sister sing. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. I need a cleansing from the fountain. My soul is thirsty and it's aching within. I want to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. What a friend, what a precious friend. So complete and so divine. If you walk this whole world over, there's no other we can find, hallelujah, he's a friend, a brother, a mother, a father, a sister, hallelujah. He is our doctor, our healer, hallelujah, our deliverer, the way maker, bless the name of the Lord, he is everything, hallelujah, comprehensive, he does everything, anything that we can think of or even imagine, 
he is able to do so. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why we are here um, this evening to carry on, hallelujah, the service of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. And for those of you who are just coming on, I greet you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for being here. So I might be running late and didn't get a chance to come on early when we just began. So God bless you this evening for coming on. And I pray to God that you receive a blessing this evening, hallelujah, through the songs and the testimony. Bless the name of the Lord and through his words. And hallelujah. And so we're going to um, leave that um, portion right now of the testimony service and commencing of the service. And we are going to go to the part where we're going to feed on the word of the God of the Lord. Hallelujah. By me saying feeding on the words of the Lord, we open up our mind. Hallelujah. We, we forget about everything else. Glory be to God. And we focus on him. Oh, glory be to God. And as the preacher was presented to us by Sister Basham this evening, and, and so um, he's going to give the word, and the Lord is going to use him. Hallelujah. He's a vessel for the, for the Lord. He's a servant for the Lord. And so we are here this evening, hallelujah, to feast and to listen. Bless the name of the Lord, and that we will get something of blessings we will receive if we open up our heart, our mind, our soul, our body, and our spirit to receive the blessing that God is going to pour out this evening. Bless the name of the Lord. And before any further ado, I will ask um, Sister Ro, hallelujah, the wife of um, Pastor Ro, bless the name of the Lord, she is going to um, intercede on his behalf and take him to the throne of grace. And after the prayer, the next voice you will be hearing is of Pastor Ro, the man of God who will be giving the word on um, this evening. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Do we have sister already? Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, let us all pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Most righteous and eternal Father, as we come before your presence tonight, Lord, we just want to give you honor, glory, and praise. We just want to thank you, thanks for letting us come together on this media, Lord God, to give you honor and to give you worship and to give you praise. And Father, as your son about to deliver the word, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit may saturate this hearer right now. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit may saturate the line that we're using right now, Lord, and let preaching be easy. I pray, God, that somebody may cry out tonight, I heal, I heal, I cannot take it any longer. Father, I pray that when the word may go forth, Lord, it will go with clarity, and that your people will be edified. I pray, God, that your word will be in our life day by day as we go along the way. Father, I pray, God, that you anoint him from the crown of his head unto the sole of his feet. Father, let preaching be easy. I pray, God, that you may kill self and let everything go before you right now while I tell it times. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Are you hearing me clearly? Yes, I am hearing you. Yes, we're hearing you. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God praise. glory. We give God praise for his grace and his wonderful works toward us as children of God. And we honor him and we praise his name because he is great and he is powerful and he, he is marvelous. We give God thanks for allowing us to come together and this platform. Amen. We can 
speak about the goodness of God and his wonderful works towards the children of man. Psalms 107 says, so all that man are to praise him for the works that you have done for them. And tonight I'm thanking God for, for this invitation and that I'm able to accept this invitation and the Lord shall allow me to be available tonight. I just want to greet my heavenly father in all the other um, officers, my co-host tonight. I want to greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, all for all my uh, workers in the vineyard, amen, all our pastors will be laboring on this magnificent and great team, the power of the resurrection. It is a great team, had a lot of meat, hallelujah, have a lot of things in it to, be speak, to speak about, amen. I give praise for Pastor Basil Straker, who opened the first night, and I am next in line. And then you have Pastor Watson and other pastors coming in line. Great lineup, praise the name of Jesus. And great things will happen on this line tonight and for the other nights that are scheduled to come thereafter. We expect great things to happen. We expect God to show up. We expect God to magnify himself. We expect God to exalt himself. Hallelujah. And while we, while, while we, while we, were, while we are away from each other um, by miles and various locations, God is just the same. Amen. The same God here, the same God there, and that we can glorify him. And tonight, I just want to praise him tonight because he, 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 he is my daddy Oh, He's my redeemer. He's my savior. And he's my friend. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And we don't want to trust God tonight that um, connectivity will remain. Amen. I just want to greet those who are joining us from other parts of the world, praise the name of the, some are in, in New York, some are in Brooklyn, some are in Connecticut, just a part of the world you are, some are in Bahamas, some are in England, some in Grand Cayman, some uh, others in Jamaica, and all the other foreign nationals, oh, praise the name of Jesus, that are tuning in tonight. I just want to bless God for you because he's great. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And I love you, Lord. I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I love you. And tonight, I tonight I'm just being 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 so overjoyed. Amen. To be part of the family of Beulah. Hallelujah. Ranks and Brooklyn and all the other branches. Amen. And all the other affiliate churches of God's seventh day. We just come out of a great and excited and um, fellowship and when fulfilling. Um, supper, amen, it was a great night, praise the name of Jesus, amen, thank God for this great team, amen, yeah, thank you for the organizer who, who, who pulled this team, amen, and the team speak to something um, that I'm I, I trying to analyze, and when I'm trying to analyze it, it keep coming back to me, the theme always speak to something that we greatly needed, and something that someone I identified. And if this team is sent to us from the Lord, that the Lord wants us to identify with something that is very important and keen to our life. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And the theme is the power of the resurrection. My God, man, hallelujah. The power of the resurrection. And this should be the theme of every believer that they want to be, be, be a part of this great not just a phenomenon, it's not something that of a mindset or something that you say you, you grapple with the mind or you, you, it is a, of a pigmentation of a mind or something that you see who, who some would say to be a um, metaphor or an allegory. But this is something that is real for the believer in Christ. And every believer, every blood was saints of God, hallelujah, should want to make the reservation, have the name written down, have the position sealed and settled for the resurrection because something that belongs to the people of God, amen? Praise the name of Jesus. And that is why and that, and that is why it's so important and keen for us as a people of God that we should understand that 
the resurrection belong unto us. Amen. Amen. And this is what God has, has relieved for the people of Jamaica and I, that this is our position. Praise the name of Jesus. Paul, in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, he said that, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation, oh, praise the name of Jesus. And when he opened in Romans chapter 1, when he used, when he, when he wrote that sentence and wrote that verse into Romans, he, 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 he was coming up against Romans artillery because the Romans trust in their weaponry and the they mass, the mass um, capturing all the various countries before. They used their power to capture Egypt and they capture Assyria. They capture Babylon, they capture Mede and Persia, they capture Greece, hallelujah. And so they were the standing now power of authority. Hallelujah, that was running the entire universe, praise the name of Jesus. And Rome know that, know that, know that no one else was able to match with their power and of their source, hallelujah, to take over and dominate worlds, sources of prison. So, so the Roman citizens know about what they have in the background. But here Paul said, I am not ashamed, praise the name of Jesus, of the gospel of Jesus Christ, because there's a great a power that is being released in the gospel of Jesus Christ, because within the gospel, you can be saved. Hallelujah. In the gospel, you can be delivered. The gospel can set you free. The gospel can pull you out of the mire clay. No, the gospel can reach you. Hallelujah. If you're on a sick bed, the gospel can bring hope and peace and joy and comfort. So we're saying to the Romans, there is a greater power that you have stuck up in your in your in your in your artillery. There's a greater power. There's a greater source that comes from God. And this is in the power of the gospel, praise the name of Jesus. And when you, re when you receive the gospel of Jesus Christ, it do a change in your life. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And what is resurrection, one may ask, or oh, praise the name of Jesus? Because resurrection is always something that human beings were looking for. Human beings are looking for resurrection. And the, the Old and New Testament have captured the same concept of resurrection. Hallelujah. They were looking for resurrection. Since man came into existence and they know that death would come, man were looking for resurrection. But God has given the church, hallelujah, a mandate about resurrection. And this, and, and this is so important to the believer. If you don't believe, in resurrection, we don't want to be in the resurrection of the eternal life, and you cannot stop and pack up and leave. But once you have a sense of purpose and you're living in this world that we're living in today, a world that full of crime and violence and sicknesses and diseases and heartaches and pain, then you must be looking for something that's better than what we have. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. You must be looking for something that is much greater and then bring hope to the believer. Hallelujah. Because we live in a time of war and a time of uncertainty. We are as complex cities that had sicknesses, diseases. Hallelujah. Marriage being ripped apart. Children being ripped apart. So we must look for something that is greater than what we have now. And that's the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I praise him in the spirit? <laughs> oh, praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> and so resurrection is for those who, who, who suffer death. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then and after death, we're looking for the resurrection. <laughs> oh, praise him. Because some of us lost some, some loved one, lost mothers, lost fathers, <laughs> oh, lost brethren and lots of very nice people. And so they wonder how they are gone out of this world. But rest assured, there's a resurrection coming. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. One man asked Jesus the question, hallelujah, that this woman married seven times and asked the question, the first husband married didn't raise up any child and other husband right up to seven. They all married and didn't raise up any child. That's the question, Jesus. In the resurrection, whose wife 
Hallelujah. Whose wife and whose husband should be taken unto her. And Jesus replied in the resurrection. There'll be no marriage in the resurrection. There'll be male, not female. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So there's something that I'm now troubling us. Hallelujah. Such a fornication and adultery that a plague in our mind. When the resurrection comes, that will be no more problem. It's in the church. Oh, praise the name of Jesus, because we will be like angels in the resurrection, we transform and change our humanity. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him on the line. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless Hallelujah. the Lord. Power. Power is a source of energy and passion, control and authority, influence over 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 others, strength, hallelujah, an attack of strength and power. And we know we have many sources of power today. Power are being generated in, in some instances such as this. We know we come to technology, we have solar power. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. We have internal combustion power. We have horse power. We have other power that generated by water. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Jesus. But all of your sources of power cannot outdo the power of the resurrection. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because when Paul talk about the power of his resurrection, Paul talk about the energy of God and the source of God. This is on the rock in God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And I just want us to understand that this is the believer's dream. And the believers hope to raise up from the grave and to raise in power and authority. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because Jesus said in Matthew 10, verse 1, of that breed upon his disciples. He said, Now I gave you power over sickness and over diseases and all the powers of hell. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I want us to understand that the whole church, hallelujah, rests in the power of God. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Can I can I mention a little bit? I am going to, I'm going to Philippians 3 and verse 10. But let them, let, them, let them learn a foundation here. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because many don't, many don't, many, many, many tonight are, are not fixing their mind of the resurrection power that is to come. Hallelujah. Hear, 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 hear the story. Hear it how it works now, church. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. They say, even Moses, even Joseph, even and when Jesus is his, his, his friends, okay, the God will take you out of Pastor or mute. Pastor or mute. Mute, you mute, you mute. Open back your line. Crazy. And the resurrection does not define by DNA. Does not defined by race. Does not defined by classism. Does not defined by countries of where you live, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're affluent or you're non affluent. Resurrection is for the believer in Jesus Christ. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And whether you're rich and whether you're poor, you can make a claim and resurrection because the apostle Paul make an aim and also made a claim and his aim and his claim was that he want to be a part of this glorious thing hallelujah so here at our church 
when Jesus heard that his friend Lazarus was dead, news come, he said to the disciples, we're going out on a journey, and he said to them, Lazarus is sick. Disciples said, okay, he will be well. Then he said, Lazarus is asleep. They said, okay, Lazarus will be awakened. Then after the extended prayer of them, he said, Lazarus is dead. <laughs> but this dead that Lazarus died <laughs> is to bring glory to the Father. <laughs> oh, praise the name of Jesus. Four days are not being extended. I know Jesus sent me to go visit the home of his friend, Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. I put in the house, the one went out to Martha, went out to meet him. And explain, so if you were here, my brother would not be dead. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And Jesus, you are will raise him up again. He said, yes, we know that can be a resurrection. So that there's something new to us tonight. It's something that's been projected in the mind of humanity long ago. Over the centuries of existence of humanity. Hallelujah. Resurrection is a part of our living and looking forward to. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Then Jesus raised the conversation to another level. And Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, though you were dead, yet shall he live. Somebody praise him. Hallelujah. And he said, no, the righteous does not dead asleep, waiting to be resurrected. And once I believe that there is power in what Jesus said, I rest my hope in him, because no, he cannot lie about this one. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Before Jesus died, he looked at them and said, I'm in three days. I'm going to break down this temple, and I'm going to build it up back again, and destroy the end Tyler community, hallelujah, in rage in their heart. Words with Herod, words with Caesar, of what Jesus intended to do. This hasten the plans of getting Jesus out of the scene because he made a statement of destroying Herod's magnificent temple. One that took some 40 years to be rebuilt and to restore Jesus' proclamation that within three days I will destroy this temple and rebuild it. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He stole the heart of men into a, in a grievous way. Now hear what the church have to triumph with. And this is our bragging rights. As the disciples use this as their bragging rights. After the three days has passed, and when words, when they went back to the tomb to look where they have laid Jesus, Mary Magdalene went to search where they laid my Lord and my Savior. I was greeted by the angel. Why seeking the living among the dead is that here is risen as I said to you. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Is that here among all of the religions? Praise God. Of people in the world today is one set of people have a bragging rights. <laughs> Hallelujah can brag about something. <laughs> All the other religious cannot brag about resurrection. <laughs> but the believer of Jesus Christ <laughs> can brag about resurrection. <laughs> that got to be a resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. There's got to be a resurrection. There's got to be a coming back to life. The saints can go marching in. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Give him praise, somebody. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. The tears every day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There's got to be a rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
praise the name of Jesus. Praise and God. so the angel give Mary a message. He said, tell the disciples that he is risen and tell Peter that he is to come and visit the tomb. Amen. And the Bible said, they all went on a street and they went to the tomb. They run and stop. Peter went in and saw the dead clothes and they come the dead friends and yes, my Lord and my Savior has been risen. Yes, Church has been dated and now been empowered. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. When we sing Lord, some more praise. Shall hold my body down. Amen. Somebody praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory oh, be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise him. Praise God. Praise oh, God. praise him. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. For oh, the resurrection. Promise to the saints. Hallelujah. Can I say to you that the Muslims don't have this? Hallelujah. The Buddhists don't have this. Hallelujah. Those who worship God don't have this. Those who worship witches and warlocks don't have this. Praise the name of Jesus. Those who worship Ouija board don't have this. Those who worship statues don't have this. Those who have other strange altars don't have this. But when the rock tied up and tangled up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, resurrection has given to you. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. His only name. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Than the mind. Let the power be mean the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And I hear Jesus said to Peter, Peter, I'm going, but I'm leaving authority in the hand. Whatever you find and hurt is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose and hurt is loose in heaven. That's power. That's, That's power. That's authority. Hallelujah. That's why the devil prayed in the church of God. Because he you know we have the Pentecostal power. Because Jesus said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jerusalem and Tari. And I will endure you with power from my mind. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. They tarried at Jerusalem at one fine moment when they were all at one accord. They came, a sound of a mighty rushing wind, and clothing thumbs of fire sat upon them. Hallelujah! Sat upon them. That was power. Praise the name of Jesus. That was power. Acts 4, verse 2. That disciples after the resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ ascended back to heaven. Disciples began to gather back again in homes, in towns. Praise the name of Jesus. At one point, they gathered in towns and they were cautioned not to preach the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the boys of the serpent held on and they began to pray that God will give them boldness and God will give them power to speak the set God. And the Bible said the earth shook because power was in their mind. Power was in their heart. Hallelujah. Four verse two. When they began to brag about their Jesus. Been resurrected and the borrowed tomb has been emptied. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. If you go to Jerusalem now and go to the very side, tomb is still empty. Hallelujah. Because it's not there. And so Paul said, if Christ had not been risen, that my preaching tonight would be in vain. My faith would be in vain. But Amen. 
as we said. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. It's more effective and more powerful to save. Praise to God. From bondage. They began to disturb with their bragging rights. Brag about them, Jesus, that had been resurrected. And I couldn't take it in the city. So they said, you can do everything, but don't preach this man name. Praise the name of Jesus. The disciples said, hey, mm. rather I'll be a God than man. And they'll preach it the more. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Can I preach? Can I preach to somebody tonight? I feel preaching. Have you been to Jesus from the cleansing blood? Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? Are your garments, but that's all the white than snow? Are you washing the blood of the Lamb? There is power, power, wonder, working power in the blood. Oh, of the Lamb. Ah, there is power. Power. Amen. Power in the bridge. Just blood. Oh, praise God. Amen. Your church is praise tonight. God. Hallelujah. Thanks. Hallelujah. I'm feeling Brooklyn. How are you feeling Kevin? How are you feeling Africa? Just give him a praise. Hallelujah. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Because the resurrection is real. Hallelujah. Something I'm going to enjoy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. So as for verse 2, when we speak about Jesus being resurrected, it caused a storm among the people. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. They no longer want to hide. They were born not to preach on the edges and the byways. Because my talk about my Jesus, he's not dead now. He's alive. He wake up this morning. He shut down my way. Don't try to tell me that my God is dead. He's alive. He's alive, somebody. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. He's alive. Hallelujah. It's star up. It's star up. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And then Stephen began to preach. And Stephen said, This same Jesus, whom you are persecuted, that God raised him from the dead and gave him power and authority. Hallelujah. And that this name must be preached. Hallelujah. And so Stephen began to preach that the name of Jesus, take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe, it be joy and comfort keep you. Take it everywhere. You go, hallelujah, because power in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You may say Yahweh, you may say Adonai, you may say Elohim, you may say El Shaddai, but it's power, mm. resurrection, power, hallelujah, 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 yes. So there was a stir. Stephen preached and preached that, they, that, that God has raised Jesus from the dead and appointed him here and approved him to be preached to every nation. Hallelujah. This brought and hastened his death. But the Bible tells me that why they were stoned, why their heart was cut, instead they repent, they had grievousness. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we come to stone Stephen. Now, why they stoned Stephen? There was a young man there standing at the, at the, at the peripheries. And there's a bystander looking at what's going on. 
I don't know if he was cheering them, he was the one who consent for it to be happening. <laughs> but it was there, someone pulled the clothes <laughs> of Stephen and laid at his feet. <laughs> oh, praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> and not many chopped the hands. <laughs> we wrestled, we came upon a great man, <laughs> a more astute writer of one that had one of great knowledge <laughs> of the word of God. <laughs> and his name was Saul, let him Paul. <laughs> but he was consent to go because of the what stirred them in Acts 4 verse 2 that the heart was so cut because the bragging rights of the church then were said my Jesus is alive and well and all the other gods are dead. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Somebody give him some glory here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because of that, Paul, Paul was standing and seeing what taking place. Not many chapter ends, as I said before. Paul received letters from the council of the, of the council and was in pursuit to go to Damascus. Having this in his mind to bring under subjection, to beat or to wound. First was bragging about the rights of Jesus Christ. Little did he know that his expectation would meet in a different way. So the Bible said, while he was riding at midday, the sun shined, a light shine above the sun. And he was thrown off his horse. His sight was gone. And he heard the voice of cried out to him, Saul, Saul, why thou persecutest thou me? Paul, in rhetorical asked him, but what thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. And Jesus gave him a mandate. And so in that mandate, Paul was able to become a defender of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It was already armed and dangerous. And so his life is a life that many can emulate today. Because the text that I'm closing in Rome in Philippians 3, verse 10. Paul of a tall him and a great astuteness. When he recognized that in order to Get this what he desires. He had to put the body under some subjection. Die daily. Hallelujah. And so in Romans 6 and verse 5, Paul let it be known. Let it be known. Hallelujah. That we've been planted with Jesus together. Then the same likeness of his death. We shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. <laughs> Are you planted with Jesus tonight? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> what Paul was saying that when you baptize, <laughs> you, you celebrate Christ's death, burial, <laughs> and resurrection. <laughs> Can I say to somebody <laughs> that I already taste my first resurrection? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Pastor Logan, crazy yet. Okay. <laughs> you may not understand what I'm saying then. All right, let me let me let me rest back a little bit. <laughs> I've tasted my first resurrection. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why I'm so passionate about the resurrection of Jesus Christ <laughs> is because I know who I was <laughs> before I got saved. <laughs> oh, praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. But Ephesians 2, Ephesians 2, tell me that. <laughs> 1 to 3, that I was dead in my chest was and sin. <laughs> and God acquitted me. <laughs> oh, praise the name of that. Quit me. I was resurrected. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. That's my first taste of resurrection. Oh, praise the name of God. If you're not been resurrected, you cannot plant him with him and to walk in the newness of life. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. That's my first resurrection. But there's a greater resurrection. That 
resurrection. Resurrect me to live to live a life of godliness and contentment in this life. That resurrection that gives me hope that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. That resurrection gives me hope. Hallelujah. That there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. But what the judgment of the Spirit. That resurrection tell me that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. That resurrection tell me that if God be for us, then who can be against us? That resurrection tell me that in a life, not death, not principalities, not powers, not things present, not things to come, not nakedness, not perils, nothing can separate me from the love of God in Christ Jesus. That first resurrection gave me that hope. And so Paul, the prolific writer, the one with a mission and a mandate, Pen Philippians pens these words from the Philippine prison after they went to preach and they are put in prison for presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ. While he was in prison, he said, not many persons care about his needs, but the Philippian brethren was there to take care of his needs. He would not give up because Life has turned the worst because no one wants to be having a bragging rights and then end up in prison for your bragging rights. Praise the name of Jesus. But that would never stop Paul from declaring publicly who Jesus Christ is. So Paul Houghton in chapter three and said, finally, my virgin, rejoice in the Lord, man, because something great has been in store. Don't make my prison cause your spirit to be watered down. Don't make my prison cause you to drift from the faith and let go of the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, praise the name of Jesus. And so Paul recognized that though he was thus far with Christ, <laughs> he still wanted to Gain some more. He never feel that like yet he have everything he want to make new strife with Christ every day. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And so Paul said, and be found in him that having my own righteousness, which is of the law, praise the name of Jesus. For that was just through faith of Christ, that the righteousness of God, of which of God is by faith. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So Paul wants to go higher in his faith because he don't want nothing to deny him from this great victory. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Paul was looking not near his, but Paul was looking down the road. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Paul didn't see the grave. Paul didn't know Paul was near when Christ was crucified. But he heard the voice of the risen Savior that speak unto him. And Paul said, he didn't touch me as he touched Peter. He didn't feed me fish and bread as he fed his apostles. There's a certain meeting with me. There's a certain meeting with them. But I want to be with him. That was Paul Haim. Praise the name of Jesus. And that's the Haim of every believer in Christ. That want to be a part of this glorious resurrection. Praise the name of Jesus. And Paul said that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. Church. This is something that we have to take hold of in our Christian journey. Because this resurrection that Paul is emphasizing himself on, he know that there will be two resurrection because he read the prophecies of Daniel. Because Daniel chose that there's some going to rise unto eternal life and some unto eternal domination. So I know there's going to be a two resurrection. But Paul emphasis was on the first resurrection. President of Jesus. 
Because Revelation said, those are part in the first resurrection, then the second that have no power over them. Praise the name of Jesus. So this should be what we are gleaming. This is what we are aiming for. Praise the name of Jesus. To be a part of the first resurrection. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. I close with 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Paul, this is not, this is not a funeral text. A soul may have it. It's a popular text that used a funeral to bring consolation and to console the grieving parties who loved one has been taken away from them. That loved one could be the sole provider of all the amenities of home, paying the bill, paying the college fees, paying the car bills, and such the like. And when such one has gone and taken away, it brings an emptiness in the family. So we use that text at funeral to give hope to the grave and to the bereaved family. But may I turn it around tonight, church? I said, this is not for the, not, not for the dead, but it's for the living. Praise the name of Jesus. Not only for the dead, but also for the living. Because Paul make it abundantly clear. Praise the name of Jesus. From his well-learned office of the Pharisee, Paul had a, had, had a heard other voices, other persons speak that, that there's no resurrection. Such about the Sadducees said that there's no resurrection of the dead. But the Pharisees believe in the resurrection of Jesus, of the dead. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> and so Paul was able to write to the church at Corinth. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who, who was lost, who was losing their way <laughs> about the resurrection. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> and Paul said, if Christ had risen from the dead, <laughs> then all would, think, all would still be in our sins. <laughs> praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> he said, well, in this life, we have all good men most miserable. <laughs> But it's a greater life that is secured. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. For the believer of Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Paul said, if this early house, if this house can dissolve me, this tabernacle, this, this, this flesh that's subject to sickness and disease and to decay, if this house be dissolved, we have another greater house that that man with hands, oh, praise the name of Jesus, that God will refurbish and furnish one day, oh, praise the name of Jesus. And so Paul said the church, hallelujah, oh, praise the name of Jesus. In verse 13, chapter 15, oh, praise the name of Jesus, behold, I show you a mystery. Hallelujah. So you explain something now that was long in the mind of people. Need an explanation about how this is going to be. How this is going to work out. I hear Job said, when he looked at his condition, how he had been sore from the head to his feet. How he had slept in ashes. Lie and all these things around him and broke just a dull worm destroy my flesh yet in my eyes i will see god whom i will see and behold and not another i'm gonna wait until my appointed time i'm gonna wait because job know that there was a change coming oh praise god almighty Job know that there gotta be a change. Hallelujah. After my affliction, after my sorrow, after my bitterness, after losing my sons, after losing my daughters, after losing my cattle, after losing my servants, after losing all, there gotta be something better. Oh, praise God Almighty. There must be something excellent. There must be excited. There must be something to push the people of God. Hallelujah. Do the storms rise. Do the waves billows. But there's something. There is something for the church of God. Things are falling apart. But don't give up, church. There's a resurrection. Ride out the storm. So Paul said, the Lord, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But in a moment, 
you know, in a real Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anxiety yeah. and the uncertainty. What did the believers mind? Paul said, this is now the mystery that was held. In a moment, if I twinkling up an eye at the last trump, that we shall be changed. We're going to change from mortal to mortality. From corruption to incorruption. The bragging rights we have today, we brag about this resurrection. This is for the believer in Christ. This is what Jesus did. The sorrow of the prior at Gethsemane after he had given his body to his believer to eat and to drink of his blood. This is what Jesus said. He that eateth my body and drinketh my blood have life in me and I will raise him up on the last day. Now, Jesus did that. Moment later after that, he went out. He was, he went out to pray. And sins of the world were so heavy on him. But he went to pray and he came back. Saw his disciples. Well, sound asleep. He wait and said, can't you pray with me for an hour? He said, pray with me, man. They said, enter into temptation. But this was on Jesus' mind. Jesus know that all of those who have passed on and slept prior to his arrival had a challenge because something was kept by the enemy and he need that to give to the believer in Christ. So when Christ laid down his life, he went into Seoul and took by the key of death from the hands of the adversary. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. That key is a key of power and authority. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So there's no longer the devil has an authority over God's people in death. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. And so now the believer in Christ will have access to that great place that Jesus Christ had not made for us. Before he leave, he said to the disciples, let not your heart be troubled. He that believeth in God, believeth also in me. I'm closing, I'm wrapped him up now. But the resurrection power, hallelujah, God has given to the people of God. That is our bragging right. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We think ourselves, I shall be changed. Oh, hallelujah. I shall be changed. Hallelujah. More than that. Hallelujah. John saw a great multitude. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. It's a whence came these. Hallelujah. The voice of the angels said to him, These are those have come to great tribulation and have washed their robe in the blood of the Lamb and have made them white. You're going to be a victory. Hallelujah. When the chains go mad. In, uh, I want to be uh, in that number uh, when the saints uh, sit around the throne. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, when the saints uh, receive uh, their crown uh, of righteousness, uh, I close. Uh, I close now. Uh, but how can I close uh, if I don't leave with testimony? Uh, chapter 4. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, for the Lord. Himself shall be seen from heaven with the voice of the archangel. 
of God. Hallelujah. And we, we shall be caught up. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall be glorified. Hallelujah. We shall be changed. I'm not caught God bless you. Yahweh bless you. Keep the fire burning. Hallelujah. Keep our bragging rights. Amen. Keep our bragging rights. Hallelujah. Word of God. That keep yeah. the commandment. Yeah. And the testimony of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Are legally been placed oh. in the resurrection era. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. That what kept Job. That what kept the Hebrews. Hebrews patriots. Many things that happened. And they could turn back. But they were looking for a city. Yes. Who's make and build her. God. Creation is God. Hey. Nothing would have deterred them. Tonight, church, we know we're in a rough time. A rough, nice roughness. Have a way to work out great things for God's people. Keep your hope alive. Let nothing nor no one cause you to miss this. Though those hear about resurrection, be a part of the resurrection. Man. Hallelujah. Don't know which about resurrection. Thank you, Jesus. Live for resurrection. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't want to taste it. But tell us the resurrection is mine. Yes. Put yourself in it. Yes. Don't Pastor put it up, put yourself in resurrection and live resurrection happiness. Yes, it is Jesus. joy and speakable and full of glory. Bless God Almighty, sons of God arise, live victorious life, praise the name of Jesus, praise the Lord, this world, can't your power of resurrection, oh, break the power of we are being given sojourners. This home is not our home. God brought us in here. And I work. Bring it to the pitch. We have been promised that. Oh, God. Hallelujah. We have been promised mm. that. I mean, Jesus, but you are Jesus telling me, but Jesus promised that. Jesus. Hallelujah. He promised us that. Praise God. He brought to prepare a place for us. Amen. Yes. Again. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith. They want to give up because resurrection takes a long to come. Don't give up. The grass withered and the flower fade. Amen. But the word of God never fade. Well, this word I spoke should have returned unto him void. <coughs> Shall accomplish that which the sent forth. Yes, One to name it in the Lamb Book of Life. Claim your resurrection. Amen. Live it, believe it. Yes, it's not a It's a reality. Amen. That's your bragging rights. Brag about your Jesus. No one is can brag about him. Mm, or the believer in Christ. Hallelujah. The resurrection. Hallelujah. 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 And speaking life tonight. Hallelujah. about resurrection. Mm. It cannot be. It cannot be. Yes. It won't be like Elon Musk ever going up, going up in the sky to live. Another no, rich man. We're going to stay down here. Right when down here. Because when the Lord comes for us, we shall pass them. Hey. Jesus. Hey, Hallelujah. Amen. I love that church. Hallelujah. Right after supper, live it. Praise the name of God. Bless you. Amen. Amen. You too. Keep preaching. Keep preaching. Hallelujah. I'm the next sense. The Lord bless you tonight. Thanks. I know. I know. What's up? The moderator. Amen. Thank you very much tonight. Thank you. Viewers, bless you.
Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Isn't he worthy to be praised tonight? Amen. What a word. Hallelujah. Word, word of life and beauty. Teach yes. me faith and duty. Beautiful yes. words, wonderful words, wonderful, wonderful words. words of life. Yes. There must be something better than inspiration. Ride Praise out God. the storm. Hallelujah. Slap not your riding. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on with all your might you, and ride out the storm. And at this time, I will. Um, hand Hallelujah. over to Evangelist Marshall who will do the closing prayer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue to give the Lord a praise. Amen. He has fed us. Amen. With spiritual food. Amen. Many of us, we Amen. Might have had oxtail or fish or amen, greens or whatever you had for your, your natural dinner. Amen. But tonight we got the spiritual dinner also. Somebody bless God or souls or rejoicing in the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And we amen. amen. We sat and we listened. Yes. Hallelujah. Many of you had your dinner on the stove, but you could not move. Amen. amen. We were under arrest. Praise the Lord. By Hallelujah. the Holy Ghost. Amen. Heart needed. Amen. amen. To hear this He's word. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, the name of Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. and if there's anyone who is online tonight hallelujah hallelujah glory to god tonight you too can hallelujah join us Oh, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. In this bragging right. Hallelujah. Oh, glory you don't to have God. to pay Hallelujah. to join. Amen. Hallelujah. This bragging right Hallelujah. Club. It is free. Oh. I may know you with the power of your resurrection. It is free. All you got to do Lord. is to accept. Hallelujah. Keep us alive. The Lord God. Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Believe oh. in oh. him Jesus. that he died. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Tonight, Hallelujah. if you believe with your heart Glory to God. and confess Hallelujah. with your mouth that Jesus Christ wow. is Lord Hallelujah. and accept him as your personal Hallelujah. Savior, then Glory. you could have this rugged right. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. War is on the horizon. People hearts are failing them for fear. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To us, as Glory the believer, we have a hope. Hallelujah. That we shall not all sleep. Oh God, but when the trump of the Lord shall sound, Hallelujah. Jesus, the death in Christ shall rise. Glory. Do you want to be a part of this resurrection? You too can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're a backslider, I bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And this word has <laughs> turned your spirit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you oh, yes. felt like you were dead, oh, but after hallelujah. hearing this word, you feel oh, yes. Oh, yes. another push. Oh, you just can't explain it. Hallelujah. But tonight it is the spirit of the Glory Lord. To God. Amen. Yeah. Working on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Calling you back. Hallelujah. Say, come home. Come home. It is supper time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, whoever you are, Glory wherever you are. Hallelujah. And even when you hear Glory. this invitation, it might be a week, Glory a month, a Hallelujah. year, two years from now, Glory. you still have the opportunity to accept Him. Glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You still have the opportunity Thank to be a part Jesus. of the resurrection Hallelujah. and experience the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So as I pray, I pray you may open up your hearts Hallelujah. and your minds. Glory to God. And God will do the rest. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, that you have provided for us. You promised that you will never leave us or forsake us. Father, tonight we humbly bow before your presence. Oh, God, the words of life that came forth tonight. Jesus. It calls our spirit, amen, to come alive. It causes us to get new hope. Our faith is renewed in you. It gave us the opportunity Another chance to know that we could still cry out to you. Hallelujah. That we still have an opportunity to be in your resurrection. Many of us might have been going through a rough time. Whether it be financially, socially, family issues work issues, health issues, issues of the mind, whatever issues that we are facing, I pray God that your words may quicken us. I pray your word may give us life tonight. I pray your words may give us hope tonight. And Father, as the words came to us, I pray that it may fall upon good ground. Cover our hearts with your spirit. Let no one take this word 
from us let no bird come and pick it out of our heart out of our spirit because indeed when we're going through a rough time we need a word to keep us we need a word to push us we need a word to strengthen us and so lord tonight we give you thanks and so father for those who do not know you when they hear the sound of my voice, whether it be tonight or in the future, we ask your God to touch their hearts, touch their mind, touch their soul. Let them know that God, you have your hands open wide and you're saying, come home, come home. It is supper time. We thank you for your man servant who you have anointed, you have appointed, and indeed, Lord, he delivered. We thank you for this media platform that you allowed him to speak to us. We thank you for keeping the line, line open. We thank you for those who have prayed for him, his wife and his brothers and sisters in Yorktown. We ask to God you may cover them, God. Continue to enlarge their territory as they march forward for you in Yorktown. Father, we thank you for each and every one of us who are online tonight whether they are streaming from Africa from Jamaica from England from the Americas from all the islands around this world we pray God that you may pronounce amen a, a special blessing in their life and thank you for reminding us God that there is room at the cross for us. We thank you, Lord. We give you honor and we give you glory and we give you praise, God, as we look to you and we continue to keep our cups up for the remainder of this week. And that, God, we will be blessed. We will be healed. We will be delivered. Father, we look to you in anticipation and we tell you thanks in order name, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we say amen, amen, and amen. Bless your name, Jesus. Amen. Bless your name. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Um, we give God thanks um, this evening. My soul has been richly blessed, and I believe for those of you on here, there are at least um, over 76, I believe, um, on this platform. And I believe that each and every one of us receive a word tonight, a word of comfort, healing, and deliverance in the rock will hide and in his resurrection power. And at this moment, I will turn over to Pastor Elliot for the closing remarks and the benediction. Praise the Lord. Uh, God bless you, everybody. This is uh, Pastor Mark. Pastor Elliot probably is commuting okay. on his way from the funeral service. So may God strengthen him. But I just want to bless the Lord for every one of you who have uh, made the effort to be on tonight. I know it's a challenge. I know it's a sacrifice. But with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. I want to salute the, uh, the one who poured the word, Pastor Rowe. God bless you, man of God. I celebrate you tonight. May the Spirit of the Lord replenish all that you have released to us. And may he uh, grant you his continued grace <clears throat> as we continue to declare the unadulterated word of the living God. Uh, to the to the team who 
worked to ensure that we are able to have this service going, the evangelism team, I want to salute you and may God continue to deposit words of wisdom and life into you and innovation that you will continue to uh, to serve the Lord with the spirit of excellence. God bless everyone. We're not going to do a benediction because the service continues on tonight, on tomorrow, where Pastor um, Watson will be uh, taking on the baton of delivering the word. So there's great things in store. Tomorrow night, we will be in the, in the house, 1405 Utic Avenue. Looking forward to seeing everyone come on out. We're going to have a great time, I promise you, because of the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. So God bless you. And you are officially dismissed by the grace of God. Have a blessed week. I mean, a blessed night. And see you back tomorrow night. Amen. God bless you. Amen.